Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove and install a ball joint. Super ATV offers a few different kinds of ball joints. We have our standard duty, heavy duty, and super duty ball joints. Today we're going to be installing the super duty and one of our high clearance forward offset A-arms. But first I will show you how to remove a ball joint from this stock A-arm. The first step is to remove the snap ring using a set of snap ring pliers. In order to remove the ball joint, you will need a piece of tubing with a diameter of an inch and three quarter. Place the tubing on the press, then rest the ball joint end of the A-arm atop the tubing with the stud portion facing upward, making sure to line it up so the ball joint will easily fall into the hole in the tube. Once everything is properly lined up, crank the press until the ball joint drops out of the A-arm. Now it's time for the install. Before installing our Super Duty ball joint, we're going to want to remove the grease zerk on top of the ball joint, which is an 8 millimeter. Securely place the ball joint into the A-arm, making sure to center it as best as possible. Rest the A-arm atop the tubing with the housing portion of the ball joint facing upward, then place everything on the press. Now crank the press until the ball joint is securely in place. After the ball joint has been pressed in, it's time to reattach the snap ring. You want to take a flathead screwdriver and make sure that the snap ring is fully seated. When doing this, be careful not to puncture the boot with the screwdriver. It's time to reattach the grease zerk. And that's all it takes to install a ball joint. Even though that was easy, Super ATV does offer a pre-installed ball joint option free of charge to make it that much easier. For more information on these ball joints or any of Super ATV's great products, give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.